gang, FLXB Review is back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I am Mike. Dan, uh, what delivery service dropped this beer off at your house? No delivery service, Mike. This was Shocking. personally handed Shocking. to us by uh, a good friend. Oh. Uh, and I don't think he's a viewer of the channel, but uh, <laughs> if he knows, he supports the channel. All right, there we All go. Right. Uh, so this is from Copperleaf Brewing. Hello. And uh, they're located in Pittsburgh, New York. And they were a brewery started and, well, co founded by our good friend Clay. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's the head brewer there as well. It's. We were at Crafty Ales and Lagers over in Phelps, enjoying a nice blackout Friday, oh. and uh, Clay happened to be there and said, here you go, fellas. So this is... <laughs> you haven't uh, had enough beer today. Yeah. <laughs> so this is their uh, Keller Pills. This is a Crowler, uh, canned on 1117 and 5.4 ABV, and we're pretty sure this is hopped with Saz. Fairly certain. If, if Clay does end up watching it, maybe you can correct us. Yeah. <laughs> If we were any good at this, we would have asked Clay, we hey, you know, what's, we're not. what's the hop, what, what's the mash bill, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, uh, we've been known to not look at things ahead of time. Okay, so, so at the time of drinking, mm -hmm. we are, what, what just short of a month? Yeah. Give or take. So like, hopefully it's held yeah. up. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Boop, boop. Copperleaf is a quality brewery. Pouring out of a crowler is so hard. Oh, here it's we so go. Yep. <laughs> Why did we start with <laughs> You know, you almost got a hard pour him. Yeah. All right. Well, regardless. Wait, wait, wait. We can be like Joe. <gasps> Not so secret sips. Yeah. Uh, that. Ooh, floaties in there. Very golden with a little bit of amber color in there and a nice right. foamy white head. It looks gorgeous, especially in the glasses. Like. I think it was the right glass selection. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there are some floaties in there. But that looks fantastic. Like, the bubbles just kind of swirl right up there as the carbonation is leaving the beer. So it's, it's a little, it's like a little champagne-y, you know? Yeah. Oh, man, I just got wet. Champagne of beers. Ooh, champagne. Uh, don't sue us, Miller. Uh, <laughs> we said yeah. it wrong enough. Uh, should we get a whiff? Sure. Let's do it. Ooh. Apple juice? That smells like apple juice. <laughs> like, like Wegmans, like apple juice. Like a crackery background to it. Hmm. Yeah, there is a bit of a uh, apple goodness That's there. That's interesting. Um, <sighs> almost a tart. So this is kind of colder. Milk. I, th I would imagine you drink this really cold, but I, I, I would assume it still feels pretty cold. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, first review of the day. Let's get the things going here. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's just sip on it and we'll talk about Diamond. it. Diamond, cheers. Thanks, Clay. Mm. 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 Very spritzy, bubbly yeah. on the tongue. Um, mm. It's got this. Uh, Kind of, it's got a softness to it as well. It's soft, but here's the thing. Right up front, you kind of get that kind of apple-y, kind of wheat kind of thing going wheat on. Wheat thin. Well, yeah, I was you, getting on you, the aroma. You get that wheat thin, kind of like, it's it's a little grainy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, a touch of citrus. Zest. Yeah, yep, touch I of agree. Touch of citrus zest. It's not really juicy, it's just like the zest of a, you know. Zest of a lemon, zest of an orange. Now that I'm going back in for a sip, breathing it in when I do it, I get a little uh, of that like Belgian -y kind of yeast note S to it. Sweet cra cracker on the front, right? Mm -hmm. Um, finishes dry. It does, dry. and that's good. I think that's more traditional of Keller Pills. Um, like the Pilsner, a good Pilsner, you know, tends to finish a little dry. Sure, sure. Right. Um, that's why I'm more of the lager guy. You're Kind of yeah, yeah, guy. okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is uh, this is really good. So, I feel like I I, I wish we would have let this warm just to, just a touch more. Maybe, but man, I feel like I could crush that whole crawler. Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, uh, for me personally, I think it has a really nice balance of like dryness on the palate with that kind of crackery 
apple jelly kind of brushed across it. I'm almost it. getting like a little bit of like oak honey. Ah, uh, yeah, I can like, see a honey. Like, like an oak honey though. Like there's a little woody kind of mm, okay. aspect to it. Yeah. And a bit floral, like uh, <sighs> floral a... spiciness. A little like rye, but without the spice. You mm. know what I mean? I'm still getting, now I'm getting like a little like farmhouse ale aroma to it. Yeah. I mean, horse yeah, blankety. Definitely. No, this is a more complex beer than I thought. For just, I was like, oh, it's a Pilsner. You know, right. it'll be just this. But right. I guess that's what you get from a quality brewery. <laughs> yeah. I really like that a lot. I would drink a few of those. Um, what do you rate it? I'm I'm gonna give it a solid four. Yeah, I think it's delicious. Man, there's just this in the background this or deliciousness. No, it's just like there's something there. It's like Don't you hate that when there's some flavor back there. Like I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. I mean. I didn't say grassy. That's what it is. There's like this lemongrassy kind of thing okay. going on. Maybe that's where the, I was getting that zest. But that in okay. that background, he's like, I feel like when I chewed grass when I was five, I just mm -hmm. couldn't get the taste out of my mouth. It was there for a while. It was there for a while. And I'm getting that with <laughs> yeah. this. You yeah. know what I mean? I used to it, chew on like clovers and whatnot. Don't let like, that like come across as not pleasant because it's definitely really pleasant. I think that's where I'm getting that like farmhouse ale type note mm. to it. And I think it's delicious. Yeah. Uh Cap Leaf does really well with like the traditional, the traditional styles. Oh, absolutely. Um, yep. I am a big fan of their grisette. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. <sighs> All right, uh, Copper Leaf. You rated it? What'd you give? I give it a four. Solid okay. four. I give it a four as well. All right. Yeah, that's solid. Good beer. Thank you, Clay. I'm yeah. glad we got to try this. Sorry it took so long. Yeah, it's tasty. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you later, gang. Uh, down description. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, it's been know. a little bit. It's been a loss. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Sorry, Ray. Whatever. So sorry, Clay. <laughs> I'm calling Ray. We're not getting the dust off. We're doing things. We We're trying drink things. this right out of the can. This thing keeps sticking. There you go. Oh, it's just as good out of the can. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>